Hello, my friends. Nice to meet you again. We arrange 12 plates in a circle and put the 12 numbers from 1 to 12 on the plates randomly. If we calculate the summation of every three consecutive numbers, we will find that, sometimes, they will be bigger than 20. If we randomly exchange the positions of the numbers, it is still easy to find some summations bigger than 20. Now here is the question. Can you find a way to place those 12 numbers, so that the summation of every three consecutive numbers is not bigger than 20? Why not give a try, and we will come back soon. Let's take a look at if there is any solution that fulfills the requirements. First, we consider an even simpler requirement, where the 12 numbers are divided into four groups. Is it possible to make the summation of the three numbers in each group not bigger than 20? Let's see how big the summation of all these 12 numbers is. It is easy to calculate that, adding from 1 to 12. Results in 78. If it is divided into four parts, and each part is not bigger than 20, the solution can be either triple 20 plus a single 18, or double 20 plus double 19. Next, let's see if we can make it in either of these two cases. For the first one, that is triple 20 plus a single 18. Let's assume that the summations of these three groups are 20, and that of the remaining group is 18. We call the group of 20 next to 18 one as the first group, and move for one step further away from the group of 18. Although this is not a group among the four, that we considered just now, its summation should not be bigger than 20, either. Moreover, the number B in this group cannot be the same as the number A in the first group. So B must be smaller than A. In mathematical language, B is not bigger than A-1. For the same reasons, C cannot be bigger than B-1. And D cannot be bigger than C-1. Putting these three inequalities together, we get that. D is not bigger than A minus 3. So, now let's look at these three consecutive numbers. The only difference between them and the group whose summation is 18 is that, D is replaced by A. So the summation of these three is not smaller than 18 plus 3, which is 21. Therefore, in this case, it is impossible to find a solution. Then, let's take a look at the other case, that is, double 20 plus double 19. Again. For the first group, if its summation is 20, we can still get that, B is not bigger than A minus 1. However, if the summation of this group is 19, we have another choice. Because at this time, it is also possible for B to be bigger than A by 1. In the same way, if the summation of the second group is 20, C cannot be bigger than B minus 1. If its summation is 19 however, it is also possible that C is 1 bigger than B. If the summation of the third group is 20, D cannot be bigger than C minus 1. Again if it is 19, D may also be 1 bigger than C. If the summation of the fourth group is 20, A cannot be bigger than D minus 1. But if 19, it is also possible that A is 1 bigger than D. The four cases on the left are only possible when the corresponding summation is equal to 19. Be careful, they can just be only possible, not necessary. Meaning that, at most two of them are possible. That is to say, they may be less than two. Or maybe exactly two. If only one of them is true. Then according to the four inequalities on the right side, we can get that, A is not bigger than A minus two. If only zero are true, then A is not bigger than A minus four. In other words, A has to be smaller than A itself in any case. That is impossible. To get the case where A is equal to A, on the left side, we have to select two of them to be true. And, in the other two selections from the right side, only the case of the equation can be selected. What are the consequences of this? We know that, the results of the four equations on the left side, are not in the same manner as the results of the four equations on the right, but are mismatched by one step. In this case, when we arbitrarily select two from the left, the calculation result of one of the remaining two from the right, must be the same as the calculation result of one of the two selected from the left. This makes two numbers that should be different equal to each other. So this is not possible either. To sum up, there is no solution, that can make the summation of any three consecutive numbers not bigger than 20. 
Thank you for watching, and see you next time.